Rhubarb, Poodle Princess, Custard and Moggy Malone were enjoying a late afternoon tea under the old conker tree. Heavy looking suitcases were sprawled about, waiting as always for the beginning or the end of another jaunt. Today it was the start of a journey. Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone were off on a few days tropical holiday and were talking animatedly about sunsets, exotic islands and handsome sea dogs. I sometimes wonder how Rhubarb and Custard will cope, darling, said Poodle Princess. Oh, here we go. Now they're off, said Rhubarb as post dogs Tracy arrived. Hugs and kisses over and the girls gone, Rhubarb picked up his bone phone to remind Mouse about tomorrow's plans to harness time itself, said goodnight to Custard and went off for an early night. Crossing and turning on the fence during an uncomfortable night, Custard opened a weary eye and noticed tiny electrical sparks, tweaks and twiddles dancing on the night air. It was the shed. The beautiful silver sounds were coming from the shed. Oh, what have we here? Snivel Custard. It was Rhubarb's computer, quietly talking to itself as the world slept. Heart pounding, Custard creaked the shed door wider and peeked inside. Oh, well, 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 grinned Custard and was instantly wide awake. Sitting in front of the computer, Custard soon began to feel very much at home in Rhubarb's chair. And with the most mischievous, naughty grin, he pressed the computer start button and in next to no time was in another world. Welcome, Rhubarb. Your wish is my command. Oh, how corny can you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it. Entering star date and sonic time zone now. When the little bone is on three and the large bone is on twelve, it will be three o'clock precisely. Ah, oh, so... This is the kind of clever, sophisticated stuff that goes on in here, eh? My, oh my. The heavens are quite active tonight. What do you think, Mouse? said Custard, in a perfect rhubarb kind of way. I'd say we have a scan around the Milky Way, he answered in a voice that sounded more like Mouse than Mouse. Cut! Oh, fright myself then. Did you? My word. Then quite out of the blue, and without the slightest idea of what he was doing, Custard's usually clumsy fingers began to dance lightly over the computer keyboard. And slowly, the shed roof ports opened, and majestically, the sophisticated deep space scanning equipment blossomed towards the heavens. Truly touched, Custard sat regally at the keyboard for a few magical moments. Suddenly, there it was. Transfixed, the humble earthbound cat stared. And then slowly and zombie-like, Custard walked out into the garden and stood silently and gazed at the delicious Milky Way and beyond. When suddenly, there it was. It was the most breathtaking sight that the startled cat had ever set eyes upon. It was massive. Its light was like diamonds and stars. His brilliance was humbling, and Custard noticed that his knees were wobbling. Oh, my goodness gracious. Great shells of pilchards, Custard muttered as he realised what it was. He blinked, and again, it was true. A great illuminated shed was hovering right over Rhubarb's garden, as though standing on a shaft of piercing light so unnaturally bright. Oh my, oh my, it looks like trouble. Oh, what earth have you done? muttered Custard to himself. A door opened in the heavenly shed. A light beam stairway shone into the garden. When suddenly, there they were. Bird-like creatures hovering. Hovering and making electric chattering noises all over the garden. 
Custard stood stone silent in the shade of the old conquer tree. Then it spoke. The shed spoke. What do you find? And in unison, as one, all at once, the bird thing said, Nothing. There is nothing here. Then it was gone. There was nothing. It was gone, and Custard stood with his mouth open, and then slowly sat down. As the sun peeped over the fence, Rhubarb jogged from the house while doing deep breathing exercises, as well as other more sophisticated exercises at the same time. Healthy stuff? Clever stuff? Who knows? Morning, old thing. You been there all night? No, Custard said, telling Rhubarb a whopper. I... Just got up. Are you sure? You look a bit off colour this morning. Sound odd, too. Don't you think he looks a bit off colour? said Rhubarb in a curious kind of way, and the birds all laughed. <laughs> or did they? Were they the birds?